A great tech tip on the 912 is going to be your fuel system uh, when you have an auxiliary fuel pump and a mechanical pump on uh, like a low wing aircraft. And if you re refer back to the installation manual at flyrotex.com, it's going to tell you everything that we have here on the Corby Air Alto 100 uh, to show how you're supposed to uh, route your fuel lines and how you're supposed to do it uh, per Rotax so you know you, you get your proper fuel to your engine. Uh, the first thing is when the fuel comes from the aircraft it's going to come in through a gas collator and it's going to come up through an electric fuel pump and then it's going to go up to the mechanical fuel, uh, fuel pump here and into the carburetors. Uh, if there should ever be a problem with this auxiliary electric fuel pump there has to be a bypass in place that goes up through this way through a check valve and bypasses the electric auxiliary fuel pump. If this thing were ever to fail and fail close somehow, we want to make sure we can still get fuel to the mechanical fuel pump through this bypass circuit. And this is all uh, in the installation manual of the Rotax 912 at flyrotex.com.